So now that we have everything set up on the PC end, all that's left really is to set up things on the mobile end for the device that's going to be going inside the Google Cardboard. Fortunately, this is about as easy as it gets. The Into Game app for iOS and Android is so simple and straightforward. The only requirement is that the phone and your PC that's streaming Minecraft are connected to the same network. Um, once that happens, where it says computer not found on network up in the top left hand corner right there, it'll change to saying PC found and then give the IP address of your PC. Um, if it says that, you're good. You know that your phone is talking to your PC and there really shouldn't be any setup. If they're both on the same Wi-Fi network, you should be perfectly fine. There are a couple of little settings in here though that are good to take a look at. So if you click the settings button, um, you'll get this menu um, with just a couple of little sliders in it. Split screen is an option that basically allows the, this app to work with any game that you may have on your PC. It basically takes the game and splits the view into two separate fields for two separate eyes like Google Cardboard requires and that is what gets streamed to your phone. Um, we don't need that option on for Minecraft, uh, Minecraft because of Minecraft. We're using Minecraft and that's performing that operation already on the PC end and actually probably doing uh, a much better, more fully rendered job of it. Um, which is why we installed it in the first place. So for this particular purpose, we're going to leave that off. But if you want to play other games like Half-Life or Portal or whatever, uh, you know, 3D game you may have on your computer using Into Game, um, that's a great option to turn on and it requires very little configuration for the game itself. Um, and it doesn't need to natively support VR, which is really neat. The second option, Track Head Movement, of course we want that on. We want the head tracking. I mean, that's part of what we're doing here. So turn that one on. That's as simple and straightforward as it gets. And finally, the third option, stretch image to full screen. Um, a lot of games that output in like more of like a letterbox format, like a widescreen format, I believe, and I'm not 100% sure, that this option will basically stretch that to fill your entire field of view inside the Google Cardboard, um, even though you may lose some of the edges and stuff. Um, for this purpose, we do not want that on, but if you're playing another game with it um, that isn't modded to use virtual reality like we've done with Minecraft, um, maybe you might want to experiment with turning that on a little bit. So that is about as simple as the mobile app gets. At this point, if the client is running on your PC and you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network, you can click the play button and the two will be synced together.